Have you ever been at the mall or at the club or somewhere a lot of socializing happens, say a famous street of your city, no for nightlife, and you see some hot girl with an ugly dude? You then see the cutest girl with the most basic dude, if not the ugliest dude, and you ask yourself, what's wrong with me? You start questioning whether you are good enough. You think to yourself, I am better looking than this guy. Maybe you're taller than this guy. Or maybe I have a better physique than this potbelly dude. You watch these YouTube videos telling you to lose weight, but you see these fat dudes slaying girls left and right. But why can't I get girls? It's because you're making at least three of these six mistakes. I'm 100% sure if you're a virgin after the age of 25, you have made all six mistakes. And in this video, I will break down how exactly can you pull girls 10 times hotter than you. Make sure you watch until the end. The most important one is number five. Mistake number five is probably the only factor to change your I am a virgin phase. If you change that, everything will change, but making all the other mistakes will repel girls. You will only be able to pull girls for a night or two. So I want you to watch each and every second of this video and take note. Mistake number one, not dressing well and bad grooming. No, I am not asking you to buy the most expensive clothing. One that fits your body is cheap but looks classy must be your go-to. Develop a sense for fashion. Go to your university campus, look at the most unattractive guys. Observe what not to do, sports shoes, unfit jeans, graphic tees. And when it comes to grooming, just be clean. Say you look good with haircuts, go and get haircut every two weeks. Clean nails, shave the facial hair if what you have is a patchy beard. This sounds basic and cringy, but most of you don't even do this. So I gotta mention this. Mistake number two, smelling bad. You could be the most attractive dude with hunter eyes, six feet tall, muscular with light blue eyes, but if you smell bad, you're a zero out of 10. I will not elaborate this further. And if you're Indian or Pakistani or Bangladeshi, please cut out garlic onions and too much spices from your diet. That's what makes your subcontinent smell so much. And deodorants don't cost that much, my friends. So just get one and apply twice a day after shower. Mistake number three, horrible body language. These boys who don't own their space, who slump in their backs, they can't stand properly, they will never get pussy. No BS, that's the real answer. And all you need to do is own yourself. Whatever you are, who you are, what you look like, don't shy away. Stand tall, look people in the eye when you talk to them. Doesn't matter how many pimples you have on your face and people are noticing them, you look them in the eye and talk with a Superman posture. You will be in the top 1% if you do this. Trust me. And the reason this is so important is this leaks in the mistake number six, which I will get to you in a minute. But this is fixable like right now. When you stand or sit, do it like Superman would. Mistake number four, horrible tonality. A lot of you will confuse this one with deep voice. Nope. Ever heard of Mike Tyson? He sounds like a fat 18 year old Twinkie. Horrible voice, but great tonality. Here's two things that improve your tonality. Number one is speaking a bit louder. 10% louder than the other person talking. This is one way to make your space known. This is your territory. Don't be shy if others are listening to your convo. If you're talking about Barbie, your voice will be loud and you will own it. And the second thing, your voice ends at a higher pitch. Don't end your sentences like you're requesting something. Your voice shouldn't go down at the end. It stays high when it ends. Example, when your sentence ends, it should sound like you paused while speaking, like Russians speak. You can have good intentions with women, but if your tonality is horrible, she's gonna feel you're a creep. Mistake number five, not approaching women. You are so beautiful, what is your name? Huh? Can I take you on a date sometime? Yeah, I can get your number. Yeah? Is it cool if I grab your number? Alright, let me grab your number. Hey, excuse me, ladies. You guys are all beautiful, but I have a really big crush on you. Whoa! Not me! Come yes. on. What's your name? Hi. Kaylee. I you need to be my wife. The most important one, I'm going to tell you one thing. Doesn't matter if you are fat, short, have acne, braces, wear horrible clothes, don't get haircuts. Doesn't matter if you're Asian, South Asian, African, Arab, Latino, white, etc. 
If you approach enough girls, you will get laid. This is a numbers game. The only exception is smelling bad, for that will repel women more than anything. But apart from that, doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, you need to approach women, and you will get laid. And you may ask, if this is the only thing that matters, then what was all this about? And then I will tell you that you only live once, so you don't want to live like a pig. And the chances are a hundred X higher, the better you are. Say you're a horribly dressed person, short and brown and fat, who approaches a hundred women. You might get laid two, three times, maybe five, six times. That's five, six women who are okay with sleeping with what you are. Now say you're someone who grooms, has a good physique, short but dresses hot as fuck, smells good, and you have absolute banger body language and voice tonality. Basically, you have Riz. Now if you approach 100 women, 30, 50 women will be down to smash. Do you know what this means? You can be a playboy if you decide to be. It's really that simple. But keep in mind, this guarantees pussy, not girlfriend, not wife. Why? There's one thing that wires women's brain differently, that if you do, they'd marry you. They'd cook for you, clean for you, have babies for you. Mistake number six, not displaying safety. Meaning women should feel safe around you. Not knowing martial arts, not knowing gangsters and politicians in your city, not making way for her in a crowd, all of that matters. And it signals her brain whether you're a real G or not. I am sure all of you are mature enough to find out how you can make women feel safe or not on your own. That's all for today, friends. Make sure you subscribe and like this video.